we had an album called Let's Get Small, so there's that. Um, so I made this thing. Is this going to work? No, it won't. <laughs> Let me just get out of this then. Oh, jeez, meltdown. Yeah. It's called Philly Hoods. And it's a pretty simple API. It's just two different calls to get um, information about neighborhoods in Philadelphia. This is using data that um, Xavia graciously provided, um, open source, open data. Um, so basically, if you have some kind of string of what you, what um, the neighborhood name is, it could be just part of a string. You could say Bella or Old City, it might match to it. Or if you have lat long pairs, it'll give you GeoJSON back about that neighborhood. Really, really simple thing. Um, I made it in Node, which I like. It's fun. And maybe you've heard about Node. It's um, Node.js. It's server-side JavaScript. Um, and there's a lot to like about it. You know, it's fast, asynchronous. Some people like that. It's JavaScript. A lot of people know how to write JavaScript, blah, blah, blah. The best thing to me about Node is you have these modules. And this is kind of how you use you import a module into your system, you give it its own namespace, um, and it's pretty easy to create modules. Um, you can only expose a function if you want, you know, just an object. You can make it as simple, as complex as you want. So, as you'll see in a minute, um, the next thing that's great about Node is the Node um, Package Manager. Um, this is kind of like PyPy or Ruby Gems, I guess. Um, Super simple, you just have like a package.json file in your repository, and all you have to do then is npm publish, and it gets into this package manager. It's really easy to install too, you just, if you have the package.json, you get npm to install. Couldn't be easier, and I think what you get out of this, what you get out of being able to easily import and make your own modules, and easily put them up there is, there's really no reason why you shouldn't just create tiny modules of maybe functionality, maybe something that does one thing. You have an app and it does a specific, specific one thing and you think, okay, I've got it for my app and maybe it could be useful for someone else. Why don't you just put it on GitHub or Subversion, any version control, point to it, NPM can point to it and then people can easily pull it in for their projects. So it could be as general or specific as you want. Maybe a lot of people use it, maybe a little amount of people use it, but you know, you're giving back something. And I think um, this is really growing within the Node community. So this is from modulecounts.com. This is just the number of modules and the main um, package managers for these different program languages. And Node is in gold there. Got a really high uptick. It's only been around for a few years. It's already beat and read there as Python with PyPy and there's .NET and Ruby. So Node has already beat Python and um, sometime early next year it's going to eclipse Ruby as well. Eclipse. Um, so <laughs> you've got, I think it's like something like 110 modules are getting added to NPM a day. A lot more, double more than Ruby, a lot more than other ones. Because they're small, they're easy to make, they're easy to publish. There's this guy, Stub Substack out in Oakland, um, you know, when you go to GitHub and you see like the activity by day, this guy is like full because <laughs> he's on GitHub all day and he's really a proponent of making these small modules. So here's a tweet here. If you get lost while building an app, it's because there are some tiny modules that don't exist yet and you should go and build them. And then he had a blog post um, where he says, all the nice reusable components sublimate away in onto GitHub and NPM where everyone can collaborate to advance the comments. That's like the epitome of open source, really. So why Philly Hoods then, getting back to that? So I kind of wanted to make something small. It was the first thing I ever made in Node. I wanted to mess around with that. And I wanted to kind of extend that tiny, the tiny functionality idea to actual an API that exposes data. It says, I hear you know, hack events or whatever, people are like, oh, I wish I could bring in neighborhood data, but they don't understand GIS. They don't learn how to use PostGIS. They don't want to have to set up a spatial database and how to import the data and everything. They have addresses. They have X, Y coordinates. If there's a simple way to get back what they want, that'd be awesome. So, um, Philly Hose itself is just made up of modules. Um, I've got a database driver. It's PostGIS, of course. So it's PG is the name of the database driver. 
Um, to make the REST API, there's this framework called RESTify, which is a version, it's kind of like Express, which is like a very bare bones web framework for Node, but it's even cut down from that because it doesn't have templating, it's not for HTML, it's just for straight APIs. And then logging, I do JSON logging in Bunyan, testing's got a few different modules there, and then um, it's a relational database, so you've just got these rows of data that you have to encode as GeoJSON. So I go to NPM, I'm like, I need something to do GeoJSON. Let's see if someone has that already before I make it myself. Type in the search, GeoJSON, comes up, perfect thing, made by KCPT, KC Thomas, so people know him around here. Didn't even know he made it, and he made this little thing. It's like, I know that guy. Um, <laughs> That was pretty cool. I mean, it just made me think about this. You know, like, it's just like a simple thing that he made for himself. You put it up there, he'll fold someone else maybe a mile away. So I extended that even further, and I wrote a little no module of the API itself. So then you can install this into your code. You don't even have to worry about the HTTP call. You just call this one method. You give it the minimum amount you need of XLAT longs, and it'll bring you back what you need. So it makes it even easier to use. Uh, so that's that, and um, because on GitHub, and thanks a lot.